Good evening, dear colleagues. Uh, let me begin my talk to remember my teachers of the generation in which lab I started my working a long, long time ago. And the lab uh, I'm heading after the settlement indeed of Eugene last year. Um, uh, this picture is uh, my present for a colleague, uh, Alexander Vasilevsky, and this is the painter, um, pure, famous uh, Russian painter, um, Trot. Uh, the picture paint named uh, Hunters on House, and the most uh, interesting guy, the hunter, was uh, broadcasting a very long contingency storm. This is Eugene Grishin. And this situation is correlated to this, this fact what Eugene, outside the science, was a very interesting. Uh, um, and uh, uh, not usual, uh, not usual human. And what it was very friendly for us. It was uh, very happy uh, to traveling anywhere around the world. It was happy to uh, fishmen and hunting of mushrooms. And this is story uh, by evening. It's tell us a long, a long time, and uh, it's not random. Here, with this really very interesting, uh, very interesting man, what is Lee. And um, after our lab finished the famous story of Yves Latter Toxin, Latter Toxin study, where Eugene um, st uh, introduced the, our novel uh, receptor of interest and tell us what is very interesting, very perspective, not only for the scientific, but also for a practical use, since um, the trip channel is um, a very attractive uh, since we have um, involved in many, many patho pathological and normal conditions. This trip is now involved in the taste, in the pain, in the mu smooth muscle, uh, in the mechanical stretch, and a lot of different trip channel we know, but uh, the general future is what it's uh, non-selectivity cation conductance, where it recognizes a wide range of chemical and physical stimuli, and the absence of voltage sensing domain, what's not uh, lead to the membrane potential oscillation by these receptors. By structure, uh, in mammals, 28 uh, channels, uh, 28 receptors divided in uh, six uh, families. This is uh, one yellow receptors, muscarinic receptor, uh, polycystic receptors, canonical receptors, uh, mucolipidic receptors, and curidic receptors. This all uh, receptors is um, maybe present in uh, cells as gomomeres and several of its uh, gateromeric. The gateromerization is normal for trip V, trip V1 and trip A1. For several trip muscarinic receptors and uh, polycystic with uh, canonical receptors. This is possible to produce gateromas and have a different and very uh, important function in, in cells for the sensing. Uh, most important, this most importance of receptors correlated with, uh, with the name, the polycystic, uh, polycystic trip channel, name it with uh, disease of poly, uh, polycystids, in which uh, this disease, uh, this pathology, it's male faction of receptor involved. And also, mucolipidose, number four, uh, harmful for the neural system, is also start to uh, naming this type of trip channels. 
several receptors have uh, pronounced uh, uh, uncommunal repeats of this is region on to N terminus with uh, region essential for uh, binding with uh, uh, calcical modulin and several other uh, modulating protein. And two, uh, for the trip M receptor, it's known very enzymatic domain and this channel also named it as chenzymes, since we not only the iron channel, it also has enzymatic function. Uh, by structure, it's uh, all uh, six transmembranes with P-loop, P-loop essential for the outer vestibule performation. And as I said before, for subunits uh, take uh, normal functioning uh, channels. Well, this is beauty phase, uh, was obtained by, presumably by cryo microscopic uh, techniques. Uh, first of all, it was resolved with trip one channel in uh, 2014 year, and this uh, structure recognition was the uh, second um, structure from iron, uh, iron, iron receptors, um, just after the acetylcholine receptor resolved. A big interesting of this structure, and uh, from these several years, this novel pictures was uh, recognized, and especially this one, TPP1, this is the largest receptor, so each subunit is more than 2,000 uh, residues. What else? Uh, this is a very uh, interesting picture, this pathological process, what um, now recognize it in which trip channel involved, uh, including very many uh, disease, it pathological process, and this is not important to uh, to uh, finding something uh, drugs for modulating this uh, pathological state. But we, we can keep in mind when when we trying to uh, introduce something action on one system we can introduce the maybe negative function to another one system. And this is strong correlated to, to our finding. Maybe it's <coughs> uh, best uh, goal is to find the balanced regulation of trip uh, channels for just specific subtype, maybe in better way in specific compartment. Uh, well, uh, well known channel party with trends of last decade. It can to help us to understand the principal um, manner to our function. We are in, in, in lab uh, in general finding the novel toxins, novel ligands from the end. Uh, most important to know what function we can to modulate for the gain of function, we, we need to finding for this type of receptors uh, inhibitor, but uh, some channelopathy is the, um, correlated with loss of function mutation in the human. In this case, the potentiator or activator most important to finding. And we are starting not only from one, but or oh, in general, oh, oh. Uh, and in general, from a trip one receptor, it's not uh, here because uh, no uh, pathogenic mutations to found, but uh, this is very co-expressed with trip A. Then mutation, it's known what meets the selective inhibition of this type for the um, pharmacology of infusion. And this is multimodal receptor. Uh, responsible to the different physical stimulus, to the capsaicin, well known for the intracellular modulation. And uh, from our colleagues was found several agonists. This is vanilla toxin, double knot toxins, 
uh, RHD molecules, but these molecules was activated not inhibitors. And we are lucky to find uh, the first inhibitors molecules in the venom of C. Anemone. And I know the Yen and other colleagues and why do I stop finding in this animals? <laughs> they include this too. Okay. Um, in this venom, we find three very, very similar biostructure peptides, which name it analgesic peptide from heteroactive groups, but APHC 1, 2, and 3, and found what these peptides have for substitution for uh, amino acid sequence, but this substitution dramatically changed the properties and the action of um, peptides to the trip one receptor in vitro and in vivo experiment. In vivo experiment, most pronounced effect to both first and third peptide, and less effective was PC5. In this slide, we made together with Denis Tikhanov, thank you very much, Denis, and this illustrates the action of uh, our peptides on the trip channel. This action is partially inhibition, or high stimulation, which is not full, uh, full inhibition of the uh, conductance. And especially interesting by low stimulation, we have not inhibition effect, but uh, some five potentiated effect. As by uh, chemicals and the pH change too. Um, this is so moderate action. It's important since we assumed what this is uh, uh, more practical, uh, appropriate for uh, for practice. Since the moderate modulation not introduced a side effects, what we uh, have other known uh, antagonist of trip one. This is MG. Uh, 1910 antagonist and this uh, have uh, produced very uh, very pronounced hyperthermic effect and uh, in, uh, mm -hmm. about uh, one and a half degree Celsius. Our peptides in contrast to this antagonist not only change the temperature but some of one APC1 have hypothermic effect and decrease with temperature in mice. We check it with peptide safety and in preclinical study on mice, what we perform it together with uh, Professor Murashov for pushing a branch and found was this is peptides really saved. He, he has not changed in the blood uh, parameters, not uh, change the heat rate, and when the open field not produced something uh, different in locomotion and ataxity on reds. So uh, it's maybe uh, assumed what uh, no narcotic effect of this peptide may occur when we're trying to use these molecules on humans. We compare the action of uh, peptides with morphine. This is data for morphine on the same experiment, on the hot place experiment after administration of uh, intravenous administration. And uh, our peptides were most effective in lower dose about 10 times than morphine. And this is also important to know what morphine is very effective um, Ex 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 excluded from the organism, and so the well analgesic effect may be introduced only by continuously application several doses of morphine about uh, one day uh, in the some, but something twice today. 
but what about our peptide? Our peptide is so stable, so we, in pharmacokinetic experiment, we found what this is up to three days, we can find the traces of uh, peptides in the blood. This is especially when we use continuous administration. And uh, not only stable, but effective. This, this peptide was uh, effective in one day, and the uh, statistically important difference to the, to the Stalini uh, was found uh, about two days after application of uh, EPHC3 in the dose of uh, 0.1 milligram per kilogram. And now I finalize my speech about the possibility to using of novel peptides uh, inhibitors of GP1 as perspective analgesic. It's really safe. It's quite different to morphine, but uh, such uh, but effective and not reduced narcotic effect and uh, I think not uh, produced tolerance of the drug administration. And this is the final picture of my lab with, uh, with, whom, with me continuing for, uh, our research for the region begin about 10 years ago. Thank you very much. Many thanks. Are there questions? Maybe I missed, but have you done binding studies? Um, binding, uh, I'm not introducing the picture from the binding. Binding we made on outside system, on expressive channel, on red trip one channel, and this is quite effective. Um, uh, I see 50, I think about uh, 56 uh, nanomoles. About it. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm curious because that's the easiest way to find out uh, what's the concentration of receptors <coughs> in different tissues. Mm. Are you interested in that? No? Uh, uh, this, is, this is a receptor, it's contributing around the whole body and uh, this, ah. is, uh, this is main uh, temperature sensor. Right. This, this is uh, so main temperature sensor, main uh, Pain in, in pain induction in cooperation all all neural system, especially peripheral neurons, uh, have these molecules. Is it enriched in the skin? Of course, of course, the skin uh, skin uh, not only trip one but may have more trip two and trip four. This is skin and skin the skin sensation is also generated by trip three. One more question. That's not an urgent question, so thank you again. Thanks.